Hello and welcome to another video in the series about improvements and changes in KimCAD version 7.0. Today I want to talk about unit operation color schemes. So what I've started with here is a flow sheet. You can see that I've got some grayscale unit operations already placed on the flow sheet and if you look in my unit operation palette you can see I'm set to grayscale. Uh, this has a three-dimensional SCADA-like view. Uh, but we have multiple options here, all based on user feedback, requests from actual users of KimCAD. Uh, and so we have a couple of options. I'm just going to go through what you see out of the box, and then we can talk a little bit about how to customize this. But the first thing you'll notice is uh, system color under grayscale. Uh, I switched to that, and we've got a colorful palette wherein similar unit operations are all shades of a single color. For example, all of the reactors that are available to you are shades of green. Uh, distillation columns uh, are all shades of blue, as another example. This gives you a lot more visibility uh, for large flow sheets to quickly identify classes of unit operations uh, as you're working. The third option that is available by default is wireframe. This has more of a PNID style look. They're totally flat uh, unit operation visuals. And as you can see here, uh, black and white. So those options are available to you. When you change that option here in the palette, as soon as you drag a unit operation onto your flow sheet, it will use whatever palette you've got there. So I'm in wireframe, therefore I've dragged off a wireframe uh, filter, for example. I'll delete that. So if you want to stay consistent uh, with a flow sheet as you build, you simply pick it one time up here in the drop-down menu and use it as you build your flow sheet. But uh, for example, if you want to change an existing flow sheet, I want to change this flow sheet to wireframe or system color. The easiest way to do that is to select all the units either by dragging a box around them or I'm going to press Control A, select them all, right click on any one of them. There's an option available to you, apply color scheme. So if I want to switch to wireframe, my flow sheet is now in wireframe. You can have mixtures of various color palettes. For example, if I only want to change this unit operation to system color, then I can do it there. So those are the stock palettes available to you when you install version 7.0. However, this is completely customizable. You can make changes at any point uh, to have a brand new color scheme available to you by selecting a uh, new color scheme. Under apply color scheme there's an option new color scheme. You can give it a name and name starts out here with grayscale but I can make changes to this palette at any point by control right clicking and editing the color scheme of that. We're looking at a batch tank. And I can switch this to two colors because it is a, a three-dimensional object and I can make it as colorful or not colorful as I like. And when I click OK, that batch tank under my new color scheme called name is blue, uh, dark blue with a light blue center and is now available and saved as a unique color scheme available to use on your flow sheet. So if I want to get back to the default, I simply switch back to grayscale. So I hope you've learned a little bit about what's available to you in terms of visuals for your color schemes in your unit operations for your flow sheet. Thanks for your attention and we'll see you in the next video.